Come on down, step aside. Yoda Joe's about to ride through the night out of sight. Come on in and take a bite. Now we're here in the night. That's right, boys. Time to fight. It's my turn. I'm a burn down these halls. Nothing left in the halls of my mind. Cause it's my time to shine. Take a seat. Let's begin. All you fools, listen in. Nowhere left to hide. Let it out. Take a dive. Welcome to the dark side. Hey guys, it's Yoda Joe 93. So, we just reviewed the Mando episode, which we're going to talk about, and you guys will get to see. It's a great review. I can't wait for you guys to see it. But now, as always, we get Mando and Bad Batch back to back. And this is an episode of Mando that actually far surpassed, uh, this is an episode of Bad Batch that far surpassed our episode of Mando, because it was even better. Now, obviously, there was great things in The Mandalorian, like the reveal of who saved Grogu, but overall, it was mostly a filler side quest with some cool, cool moments. But this episode was not what I was expecting. After a brutal, filler, horrible episode last week, I did not think Bad Batch could could win me back, but they won me back. And this episode did not disappoint. So this episode focused on, we went to Mount Tantis, found out what happened to Crosshairs, and it was great. We got to see Crosshairs do his badass thing, shooting tr stormtroopers. And But this episode started with something unexpected. We had Echo showing up who had been helping Rex, leading his clone underground groups. And that was really cool to see, just to have... Rex, just to have them all working together, we got to see famous clone troopers that had been rescued, like we rescued uh, Commander Hauser from season one of Bad Batch, which is pretty cool. We get to see a new clone with that's a part of Commander Grease's, um, uh, his his legion of clones called Fireball, which had this super sick insignia on his helmet with like these like markings. It was super cool. I really loved it. I really thought it was he was cool. I really thought. There was great clone versus um, Stormtrooper action in this episode. So that was something we had not seen yet that was really cool. And they're really driving home this point of the clone rebellion leading into the clones taking on the Empire. Which I love. Now hopefully in the final two episodes next week we'll get to see Rex. But So then throughout this entire episode we're basically dealing with, you know, um, Echo has to go get information. And we have to go find out more about Mount Tantus. And we find out about Crossers in the end card scene... Stinger in this episode is we find out that Crosshair has been trying to help us and send us information and so but at Mount Tantis things do not do good they're trying to get information out of him and then they have to put him to sleep because he doesn't want to cooperate with the Empire which is really good we get to see so many cool layers to Crosshairs and I think they did such a brilliant job here with the writing the action scenes are great seeing Echo was great seeing Echo reacting to Omega's progression and even though we got a little bit of the little Moana planet in this episode, not enough to ruin my enjoyment. There's a mention of Sid, but we didn't have to see her. So that's good. The action was good. The story was well done. I'm going to give this episode of The Bad Batch an 8.5 out of 10. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Did you guys like Bad Batch more or Mando? Let me know in the comments below. So got some life in me.